Hi guys, I don't know about you, but I love the smell of fresh bread. For me, it's like fresh coffee, fresh bread goes together. It's just a beautiful smell. I'm going to make some fresh bread in a bread maker. Now, I normally make my own, but I also have bread makers, so I have the easy, lazy way out. What I like to do is on a Friday night or a Saturday night, I like to put all the ingredients in, put the timer on, and then wake up in the morning on a Saturday and Sunday morning for some beautiful fresh bread. Just actually to die for that aroma going around the house. You wake up and you think, oh yes, great. So let's get started. For the ingredients for a 750 gram loaf, you need 230 mils of water. Now I've boiled this and allowed it to cool down. If you can put your finger in it and it's warm, that should be at the right temperature. If it's too hot, you'll kill off your yeast and you'll end up with a rock cake instead of some nice white fluffy bread. You need two tablespoons of ordinary cooking oil, and I've got sunflower oil there. One and a half teaspoons of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. One and a half tablespoons of dried skimmed milk powder. 400 grams of white bread flour. I mean, this is a strong one. It's best to get a strong white bread flour for bread. And two teaspoons of dried yeast. Okay, so this is my bread maker. Now the tin inside, the loaf tin that you're going to bake the bread in is a little bit tricky to get out. Now watch your ears because it is noisy. You have to really kind of clap, get your hands on it and lift it up like that. Um, and that's basically the loaf tin and that's the paddle inside there. And this is all non-stick so you want to make sure you don't scratch it or scrape it with anything. If you're going to use anything to go into the loaf tin it should be plastic. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to put in the wet ingredients first. So I'm going to pour in the water. It's now at a warm temperature. Then you add the oil. Now I'm just using ordinary sunflower oil. So I think any cooking oil would do. I'm adding two tablespoons of oil. You need to put the wet ingredients in first that you need to put in the dry ingredients. So I'm putting one and a half teaspoons of salt and a half. Tablespoons full of sugar. Of course you'll need to wash your tablespoon after the oil otherwise loads and loads of sugar stuck to your tablespoon. So two tablespoons full of sugar. Then you're going to need the dried milk powder. So one and a half teaspoons of dried milk powder. And you add in the flour. 400 grams, I'm using strong flour, strong bread flour. You could use ordinary bread flour as well, but I think strong bread flour is better to use. Now you need to add the yeast in last. This is so it doesn't start activating straight away. Now this is the yeast that I'm using. This is a normal easy bake yeast. I'm using two teaspoons of that. You just place that on the top, on top of the flour so it doesn't hit the water. And then we're good to go. Now this is for a 750 gram loaf. So all the ingredients are in there. So that just means to put it into the bread maker. Okay, so you just need to put it into the bread maker. It's got a couple of clips. So you just press it down, make sure it's in there completely. So that's all in there now. And then close the lid. Okay, so when I turn my bread maker on, it automatically goes to 750 grams. I think you can just about see that mark there, and that would take three hours. Now, if I wanted to change the loaf size, just need to check the button here and press that, and it will change it. It's now on one kilo, as you can see here, and that's gonna take three hours and 10 minutes, or up to 500 grams is two hours and 50 minutes. So I'm having a 750 gram loaf, so I'm going to change that down to 750, and that's for three hours. Now if you wanted to change the crust colour, this is the button for the crust colour, and these are indicated here, light, medium and dark. 
Now this one is now showing one L which is for a light crust, one H which is for a dark crust and one P which means a medium crust. Now I want a medium crust so that's the one that I'm going to select and then after you've got all the ingredients in there you basically just need to press the start button. As you can see the ingredients are getting mixed up this is its first stage so everything is just mixing up there with the paddle. Okay so as you can see it's been on there for around about 20 minutes now and uh, all of the mixture is coming up into a ball. It's now risen, um, it's in its first rising process. Um, it's now at 1 hour and 46 seconds left. 46 minutes even, 1 hour and 46 minutes left. Okay, so the loaf is now cooked. Um, you need to make sure that you turn off the power supply before you take out the loaf. Now, I've just let it um, come out a little bit because it's a little bit difficult to take out and I couldn't video and take it out at the same time. But basically you need to hold one side of the uh, bread maker with one hand, like so, and then pull it out and you need an oven glove or a mitt to take it out. Then you need to place it onto a heat proofed um, surface. Now this is a nice heat proofed surface and then you just let that cool for a little while and then you turn it out onto the baking tray, cooling tray even. Okay so I've put it down to the cooling tray. It's now ready to eat. Yum yum. Um, it's looking good. It's nice and light. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please subscribe to my channel or leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and bye bye for now.